are you struggling that much? Ah, oh, there we go, cool, right, hello. So today I thought I would kick things off with the first video in my new series, Recreating Instagram Makeup Looks. I'm well aware of the fact that I did not invent this. I know that it's a very popular thing on YouTube to create, recreate like makeup enthusiasts makeup looks uh, from Instagram because they're always very complicated and wacky and crazy and I thought it would kind of be fun to join the bandwagon John? to join <laughs> I was kind of saying join and hop on at the same time um, to hop on the bandwagon and sort of do my own um, as a makeup enthusiast myself it's actually really fun to recreate other people's makeup looks um, and but then I feel like I can't film videos because it's not like a tutorial because then that's stealing someone else's ideas. So if I say like, recreating Instagram makeup looks, it makes more sense. And also it's not a tutorial at all because I'm actually really shit at makeup as you're about to see in this video. Um, I actually don't hate how this turned out. It's actually inspired by a look by Kaylee MUA, who, as you guys know, if you know me, um, you will know that she is one of my biggest inspirations. I absolutely love everything she does. Um, I've actually asked for her palette for Christmas because I just love it so much. Um, so this is one of her old looks actually, it's from a while ago and I actually prefer how this eye turned out, weirdly. I thought I would prefer this one but this one actually came out better. So I don't know, I tried my best with it, I don't hate it. It's actually like not the worst thing I've ever done. Um, it's kind of cool in a way actually, so yeah. I don't have quite the same products that she did obviously to do it with um, but I hope you enjoy seeing how I recreated this anyway and yeah. So if you want to see how I did the makeup I'm wearing now, then please keep on watching the video. Right, so... Let's get started. <laughs> I'm going to obviously start off by um, doing my primer. So I'm going to take the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer as always. And I'm going to start just putting this underneath my eyebrow. And then I'm going to carve out my eyebrow. And then I'm going to prime my eyelid and I'm going to use like the patting technique favoured by P. Louise and many other Instagram makeup artists. My, um, my favourite brush to do this with is the Morphe E14 brush which just looks like this. It's very, very dirty but I'm just going to pat my concealer into my eyelid and I'm going to bring it all the way down here as well and right into the inner corner given that we'll be putting product there later. Okay so once that is all done and our eyes are primed we're going to have a sip of our tea and I am going to go in with the Morphe 35O palette to start with and I'm going to take this colour here, which is just sort of a green toned grey browny kind of colour. And I'm going to take that on a Morphe, on the Morphe R41 brush. And I think what I'm going to do is, what I didn't do on the other eye but I should have done, is mix it with this colour here from the Morphe 35K. Um, this sort of bluey colour, just to make it a little bit more blue. I'm just going to get that on my Morphe brush. Um, and I'm just gonna pack that into the outer corner basically and up onto the crease. You might have to bear with me because I'm not actually very good at blending with no sellotape guideline there. So I kind of just have to hope for the best when it comes to this sort of thing. I didn't learn to do eyeshadow without sellotape, that's the thing, so I'm not very good at it without. So we're going to start off with that, and then we're going to go... Oh, I'm losing all my brushes now. And then with a smaller fluffy blending brush, I'm going to take um, this brown here. Is it this one? This brown here from the um, 35O palette as well. And I'm just going to blend out that colour. And also bring that into the inner corner crease area of our eye. Thank you. 
And then I'm going to go in with a touch more of the same colour but on a bigger fluffy blending brush which is the NYX number 17. And I'm just going to blend all that out so that there's no harsh lines anywhere. I find the darkest colour first blending techniques so much more helpful when I don't have sellotape. Just because it really gets, it kind of makes me use the entirety of my eyelid rather than just like a small section. Okay, so once we've got that laid down, um, I'm going to go in with a black eyeshadow. So I'm going to use, oh, someone's just decided to have a shower. Haven't oh, they? Great. Great. Right, we're going to have to carry on. I'm really sorry about that noise, but I can't. I have to carry on. I have to. So we're going to go in with black truffle from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette um, on a small, dense crease brush and just pack that onto that outer corner. Um, it's always, the reason I didn't put the black down first is that it's always a good idea to put black on top of warm tone colours because then it won't blend out grey and ashy and gross, so yeah. I'm going to go back in with that R41 brush, a little bit more of the blue colour that we used and just blend out the black slightly. And then go back in with both of my other, not that's not a blending brush, both of my other blending brushes as if they've decided to start playing music in the show. Wow. I already, I can already tell that this eye is going to go so much better than the other one has. Okay, so once we've got that down, um, that's kind of the rudimentary crease colours done. I'm going to go in with concealer. I don't know if this is the order that Katie did things in, but it's the order I'm doing things in. So, so I'm going to put some concealer on the back of my hand, which is already a gross mess. And then I'm going to take a small flat concealer brush and I'm going to just squish up the end so that we've got like a nice sort of sharp line there to draw out the cut crease. And then I'm going to take some of that and just pop that on my eyelid, look up so I know where the line's going to go and then draw it in. Um, I'm going to take it sort of over my inner corner, like over where I'd normally take it, just so we can get that nice like inner corner bit that my eye kind of doesn't naturally have. Okay, so now that we've got that done, I'm going to go back in with the I'm going to go back in with the Morphe brush and the um, blue eyeshadow and just blend in where that line is. And don't it doesn't matter if you don't get it right up to that cut crease um, line. That's okay because we're going to obviously go back over that. When you've done that, I'm going to go in now with a blue. But brighter blue, where my brush is gone. Um, and I'm gonna go in fucking hell. Okay, sip of tea first, I'm getting stressed. I'm gonna go in with the sleek um Ultra Matte V1 palette, and I'm gonna take a mixture of these two. Oh my god, these two blues here. Um, and yeah, on a really kind of small, flat, dense packer brush, and I'm just gonna pack it on. <laughs> Self-explanatory really, isn't it? And I'm just going to pack this onto the middle portion of the lid. And then I'm going to take another small flat packer brush and I'm going to take um, this darker green here on this brush and I'm just going to put that where the blue meets the eyes and blend those together. And then for this bit here, I'm going to take the lighter green shade in the palette and um, pop that there. And then on another small flat packer brush, I'm going to take obviously the yellow shade in the eyeshadow palette and pop that there. I 
and then just blend together the yellow, the yellow and the green. Essentially, that is the lid colours done. I know that they aren't quite as vibrant or the same shades as the ones that Kaylee wears, but it works, I guess. It's the same vibe. Ooh. With the leftover concealer we have on the back of our hands, we are going to take a small little detail brush and I'm going to trace out a line where that cut crease is and just kind of do a little bit of the inner corner, little tings. I'm going to have to lean forward really close but I'm basically just putting a line here. So on this eye, what I tried to do here was then put eyeshadow over the top of that line, but it just didn't work. But I remember my housemate Rihanna has the NYX um, Vivid Brights eyeliner, the yellow one. So I'm just going to put that in that section. I know that it's kind of cheating and I know that it's not the right shade of yellow, but <laughs> we're going to be doing it anyway because it's just so much easier to do it that way. So basically I'm going to take this in stopping at about where the green meets the yellowish, kind of this area. Oh my god, that worked out so much better than the other I did. <laughs> okay, so once we've got that line going on, um, we are going to then... So, once we've done the yellow, kinda, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the NYX Lid Lingerie. On this eye, I actually went in with the NYX White Eyeliner, and I forgot just how much that bloody product cracks. It is horrendous. Why are NYX incapable of making a white product that does not crack. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with this brush that we had the concealer on. I'm gonna take some of that white product and just work with it as quickly as I bloody possibly can because otherwise it's a bitch. Okay, so I am going to take a little bit of the yellow eyeshadow on a brush, on a little angled brush, um, just so I can sort of try and blend the white with the yellow a bit better. Okay, right, blended it too much, good, lovely, We're doing well. Right, so what I'm actually going to do now is something a bit different. So to get that sort of glowing effect of the inner corner, um, I'm going to take yellow eyeshadow on like a big old blending brush. And I'm just going to sort of smudge it in the inner corner, over the white. I know it kind of de defeats the point, but it works. Okay. And then what I didn't, what I actually decided to do with the other eye was actually go in with my <laughs> face paints because this white is so much easier to work with. It's very creamy, very sort of opaque, and it works really well. So we're going to go in with that, and we're going to go back over that cut crease, that um, inner cut crease and yellow bit there and this is what's going to create that sort of glowing effect in the inner corner and then I'm going to actually go on to do the lower lash line now before we move on to any of the other bits so for the lower lash line, well no I'm going to do concealer first aren't I? Um, concealer I use maybe fit me for my under eye and I'm just going to put that on using my normal technique And then I'm going to do the lower lash line, which is kind of easy really. Um, basically, I'm going to take a small flat defined brush, the black eyeshadow, and just put that under my lower lash line. Just in the outer corner. A bit emo now. Good. Love that. Good look. And then gonna go back in with that brown colour that we used for the top and blend it out with that. But I'm actually gonna put a powder on top now I think because I'm happy with that so you can set it with the powder and I'm actually gonna use not that. I am gonna go in with the shiny white colour from the um, Morphe 35k and I'm going to take that on my tiny little 
detailer brush from Real Techniques and that's just going to go in that inner corner and this is such a good eyeshadow for that glowing look because it's shiny because it so it just kind of creates like a really bam inner corner highlight effect like so and then we can move on to the little liney bits I suppose um, basically all I did for this really was get a very small teensy tiny paintbrush wherever it's gone and I just used the yellow and the white out of this palette um, just to create like little squiggly lines for the lightning things um, I don't really know how I did this to be honest I just squiggled some yellow and white paint around this is where my completely non-artistic skills came into fruition Okay, and then I'm going to go over those yellow lines with the white. Let's pop on a lash. I feel like lashes do sort of help make it look a bit better, I have to say. Um, <laughs> lashes are sort of helping the look, I suppose. They kind of hide the atrocities going on behind them. I've just realised I filmed this entire thing in my pyjama t-shirt. <laughs> should I change for the face bit or should I just be completely transparent? I'm going to zoom out, going to do my face. If you want to see how I do my face then you, there's a video somewhere for that. Okay so I hope you really enjoyed that. Um, I kind of enjoyed doing it. It was a fun little challenge for me, something I haven't done in a while. So if you want to see more of these um, and any any looks that you particularly want to see me recreate, please let me know, uh, tweet me, Instagram me, any of them things, they're all down below in the description bar, bar? box? Is it description bar or box? I don't know. Um, and yeah, I will see you all in my next video.